Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be another makeup video. I'm sick of it. I'm not actually. I'm going out, so I'm putting makeup on, so I want to record it as usual. I think every time I like put makeup on for like an occasion, I'm gonna record it anyway, just because I'm now in a habit of doing so. Like I'm now in a habit of setting everything up and filming while I get ready. I don't know. I just find it fun and I like talking while I get ready so might not talk to the camera about whatever I'm thinking, all that kind of stuff and do some makeup. Why not? I just enjoy it really. So yeah, and I've got new products because I got a glossy box this morning and I want to start using some of the bits so I'll show you what I got from the glossy box this morning. Right, so I got like half the stuff, all the brands in that I've never really heard of so that's like why I like it as well because you get to try new things so I got this Catrice Cosmetics um, mascara I've never heard of the brand but it's a full size, they're all full size products I spent £10 on the box and the box is worth 50 something pounds um, the wand looks like this so it's nice, it's a thin wand, I like thin wands and yeah it's, I'm going to try it later but so I got this mascara I got a liquid eyeshadow, um, it's just a liquid eyeshadow, what is the brand? Bella Pierre Cosmetics, never heard of it, um, liquid shadow eye candy and then it says Venus so I'm assuming maybe that's the shade, yeah Venus and it looks like this, I got this Steve Laurent, it's a rose gold loose powder, I think it's like an eyeshadow powder. I've heard of this brand, LA Splash Cosmetics, and I got some eyelashes, which I'm very glad about because I really needed eyelashes. So I'm definitely going to use these today. Um, they just look like this. They are in the style, it says Golden Gatsby 3D full mink lashes, so I'm assuming it's that. Yeah, but yeah. So first off, I'm going to do eyebrows, as we now know when I go out I do eyebrows first. These are my natural eyebrows. So on camera they don't look like they're really light and they don't like they look light but when I'm outside they're even lighter than you'd think they are. Right now I've got such bright light on my eyebrows that you can see them. But like in general, my eyebrows are pretty non existent. Like I would never go out like this, ever. But in no makeup day I would never go out without eyebrow stuff on unless I had like glasses on because you can't see it. But like I would never leave my house like this unless I was that desperate. I've been desperate once, one time for school, I had to go without because I did not have time to do it. And then as soon as I got to the school, I had cosmetology anyway, because I took cosmetology class and I did my eyebrows the first period. Like, I can't physically not do it. I'm going to use this mirror again to do it. It's annoying though, because the, cam like, the light focuses on this, so I'm going to try my best to not have it in frame. My skin is getting better. Like, since the last couple of videos, it's getting there. I mean, it's still bad, but it's definitely not the worst it's ever been so we'll just have to work with it but yeah so eyebrows I'm gonna use the concealer palette again because I do like doing my I really like doing my eyebrows with this brown it's just it's just a lot easier quicker and I don't really have that much time just using a Morphe M oh no it's a Morphe E29 angled brush <laughs> Okay, so just underlining the eyebrow and then I'm just going to fill it in like usual and then do the same with this one. Okay, so I've done my eyebrows and I'm now going to conceal them with the same Revolution palette but obviously the lighter concealers in the palette. It's just a mixture of some of the lighter shades and I'm just going to conceal underneath.
I realise as well when I watch stuff back, I do I use a lot of concealer, and I don't mean I don't even know why I use so much. I've got really veiny eyelids, so I like to make sure they're covered. That's why I think I put so much on. Getting it with the RCA Mate. Right. Retake. The RCA Mate uh, loose setting powder is what I was trying to say before I dropped it. And the same usual brush, which is Morphe E22, to set my eyelid. God. That'll do. And then I'll do the same on the other eye. I've done that now, and I'm now going to use the Modern Renaissance palette. Anastasia, um, like I've not used this in so long, but I need to use the pink in it and a transition transition shade for the look I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a look. Basically, I bought off Beauty Bay um, this Wet n Wild Jelly Eyeshadow, and I wanted to try it. So it's this bright pink. I'm gonna try and do like, some sort of cut crease with it. So I want to use the pink in this, and then I'm gonna test out one of the new products from the Glossy Box thing. So either this glitter eyeshadow cream or some of the rose gold. I think I might put the rose gold pigment over the jelly one and do that. Gonna take this shade which is red ochre I think it's called. Yeah. And oh it's really dark shit. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so I've just done that. Um, now I'm gonna take the wet and oil jelly. I'm gonna do a cut crease um, over my entire lid. What looks like this, and I'm just gonna take some on the brush and do my best not to get it everywhere. Right. Okay, I actually love that. That. I've got good eyelid space, like if I look up I've got a lot of eyelid space so it works on my eyes like cut creases like this. Yeah I really like how that applied. I'm just going to do the same on the side now. Yeah. Okay now I'm going to open this rose gold stuff and see what it looks like and then I might just put a bit in the middle. I'll show this. It looks like this. It's just like some fine powder. Love the look of it. I'm just going to put this in the middle of my eyelid. Oh 
Okay, yeah, that's nice. It just doesn't make it so dark in the middle and it just kind of like makes it blend into like the eye look. I really like that. Okay, I'm gonna leave the eye look there and then just use this new mascara that I got. Um, I hope it's good because I actually do need a new mascara. Other ones are a bit dry. <laughs> I can already tell you I really like it because the brush isn't really long, it's really short so I really like it because it's not going everywhere, it's going to the direct place that I'm putting it. Good mascara. Like for my eyelashes, to wear just a mascara and not feel like there's loads of bits poking out is good. I don't see any of my like ginger hair <laughs> and usually on the root I would see it and I don't so I actually really like that. Yeah, I really like it. Okay, so mascara's on. I really, really like it. I actually really like it. I don't know how it looks on camera, but for me it's good because my eyelashes are so light that it's usually hard to get mascara that up to I can get right to the root, you know? So now I'm using these eyelashes, Ellie Splash ones that I got in the glossy box. And they look like these. So I'm gonna need to trim these and then put them on. So I'll be back once I've done that. Okay, so I've got my eyelash, I've cut it down now. I'm just gonna put it on, attempt to put it on on camera. That's nice, you know. I think it'll stay on. But usually I have a massive eyelash on that just doesn't look that good. But that's actually really nice. I really like it. Yeah. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Okay. I never really like eyelashes and stuff and I never really like my eyes. But I really, really like this and I'm not just saying that. Like, for me it's different because I usually have weird, massive, weird, like, massive eyelashes that look too big for my eyes. And now we can see that I actually do like stuff like this. Like, it's really wearable. And the eye look itself I actually really like. Like, I didn't think I was going to like this. I actually really do. So I'm really, really impressed by myself and I think it looks nice on my face. Like, it doesn't look like I'm wearing loads of makeup. I mean, I am, but it doesn't look like that. <laughs> so it's fine. Oh, jeez. The Ordinary Silicone um, Primer, that's what I'm trying to say here, uh, to as my base and then blend it in. And then I'm gonna, yeah, I've used it a lot because my skin needs it, honestly, trust me. Um, and then I'm going to put on, I'm really trying to think because I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm just winging it as usual and yeah I've got quite a bit more time than I thought I did to get ready now because I'm getting a taxi out which I wasn't meant to be um so I feel like I'm not in a rush anymore at all, not that I was rushing anyway but I would have just been like but yeah. Um, it's coming up to Christmas and I'm still stuck on what to give my friends and family like I've bought maybe two people presents and that's it and the people that I've bought presents for are like the easiest people to buy for so I don't know what else to get the rest of my family like I hate getting presents for people because I don't know what to get anyone or when I ask them they don't like they don't give me any helpful suggestions so I'm gonna use the I really think my hair should go up but I can't be bothered um, Rimmel foundation, ordinary foundation and mix them together and I don't actually know why I do this, I don't even think it does anything that I want it to but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh and this is what I've been doing as well, I've been mixing a dark foundation with a white concealer because the concealer has a lot of coverage in it, yeah so I might put a bit of white concealer into it, one to lighten it, two more coverage and then I'll put a lot of bronzer on and I'm going to put a lot of this on by the way so don't mind me. Okay so 
still put my head up because it's annoying me and I've blended my foundation in. Now I've got concealer I'm using this Rimmel concealer, whatever it's called. And I'm just gonna blend that out now. <laughs> that's going so patchy on my nose but I'm gonna just have to bear with it because my skin's just like that now I'm gonna set it with the RCMA powder again Anyway, bronzer, I'm gonna use Bourjois, what is it called? I forget what it's called all the time. Yeah, I cannot say that. It's Bourjois powder. I can't say what it's called, but you know the powder I mean, this one. Um, I'm just gonna get a lot of it on this Real Techniques brush. And I'm gonna put it everywhere because I'm pale, it's so pale. So I'm just gonna literally put it everywhere. To add the colour back to my skin that it desperately needs. Desperately, desperately, desperately. If you wonder what this is, I'm also watching Strictly, so I keep having to pause it and stuff and watch this to, to do this, but it's fine. Like, yeah, love it. Strictly semi finals. Love Strictly so much. And I want Krim to win. Anyone else? Let me know. So bronzer done, now I'm using the same highlighter I always use, now I'm really obsessed with it, Ofra Nikki Tutorials um, Space Baby and it's like the one with the blue flecks, it's hard to show. Oh, I forgot blush. I'm still gonna do it. I need to put blush on, I forgot. I use a mixture, so this is Barry M blush. I just got in a set. I'm gonna use these two. A mixture between these. I'm just gonna have to blend it into the highlight. Hmm. That'll do, makeup please. And then I just need to do some under bottom um, eyeshadow and then lipstick. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with Red Ochre from the Modern Renaissance palette and take up on my um, bottom. Just like that. I 
just that. That's literally what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to put a wee bit of bottom on my eyelash mascara. Even though I hate it because it scares me. And I never wear, I've never wore bottom eyelash mascara till this year, really. And I still hate it, but I'm going to do it because it just doesn't look the same without it. Just going to go with it. So there we go. Yeah, that'll do. Um, I just need to do lipstick now. I'm going to wear. I have um, a NYX lip lingerie, but I need to see how dark this is because I don't want it to be too dark. So I could wear this. Actually, that looks good. Might wear that with lip gloss. Yeah, I'll, let, let's just do that. Um, Colour wise, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to use my usual lip gloss, which is Imagination X Lottie London lip gloss. And I don't know why I love it so much, it's just the best one I own, I think. This is a finished look. I really like it. Um, I love playing with new makeup and I really, really, really like it. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe down below and watch my old videos, um, like my other videos, not my old videos. Watch my other videos if you're interested too. I do sing as well, makeup, reaction videos, and don't know what else yet. Probably a bunch more soon. But yeah, thanks for watching this and goodbye.